This is Saul Johnston on 3217 Packet Tracer, and this is going to be configuring VLANs. Basically, we have our, our file up here, and we're going to view our default VLAN configuration. So we're going to go to our switch 1, and go right here to command prompt. And basically, you just type in this command here. You type in show VLAN brief. So you'll see that right here, and you'll see that everything is under VLAN 1. And now we'll go ahead and we're going to ping across our network here. So we're going to do PC1 pinging to PC4, and PC2 to 5, and PC3 to 6. So PC1, we're going to go right here to command prompt. It's going to go right across here. and. We're going to ping 172.17.10.24. And they're on the same network, so it's dot ten and that's a dot ten right there. So that's the same network. And now we're gonna go ahead and ping from two to five, which is one seventy two dot one seven dot twenty dot twenty five and it responds so that's good and then PC three we're gonna do one seventy two dot seventeen dot thirty dot twenty six so we're right here and it gets a reply, so they're in the same groups. So now we're gonna make them their their own groups here. So we're gonna go to switch one. And we're gonna go do conf t. We're gonna type in VLAN ten. In VLAN 10, we're going to name it Faculty Staff. And then we're going to do VLAN 20. And they're going to be students. And we're going to have VLAN 30. This is going to be the name guest. It's going to also be called default. Oop. Put too many things at once. So we need to put VLAN 30 first, and then we can put name guest default inside the brackets there. And then VLAN 99. I'm just going to have the name management and native. And we'll go ahead and end that. We're already set with that. We're going to do show VLAN brief. So there we go. So we have the faculty, staff, and students, and whatnot, but there's nothing related ports wise to those. So. Now we're going to do that also with our other configuration. So now we'll go ahead and we'll configure switch two. And basically, be doing the same thing. So we do enable. So we're doing enable. Comp T. VLAN 10. And we're going to do name faculty slash staff VLAN 20. And we're going to have name students VLAN 30. Name guest. Bracket defaults. All right, 
right, so we're going to put our, desk, our guest default, and I had a capital D, so I want to make sure it stays the same. And VLAN 99, name management, and native. And that should be all set there. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing in our switch three. We're going to VLAN 10. Name faculty staff. And we could do the same thing for our switch to, which we would do that to, with our telnet if we were going to do it in real life. So here we go. So we save that. And on our first switch, basically do the same thing. We do copy, run, start. That way if there's a power outage or anything, everything would be saved. show VLAN brief so we see everything right here created for that make sure everything is capitalized the right way and we're gonna do that in all the switches here show VLAN brief there we go there and this one actually has some ports assigned There we go, and this one has some ports assigned to it too. And that would be those three ports there and that one. Alright, and then our next step here. So basically we're going to right here, we're going to be assigning VLANs to our ports. And what you're going to do in each one of these switches, the switch 2 and switch 3, is basically we're going to be setting these, which this one was already set, but I will go ahead and reset them again. Go to Conf T for Configure Terminal and do Interface FA0 slash 11. And we're going to type in Switch Port Access VLAN 10 and then we're going to do interface FA 0 slash 18 and we're going to do VLAN 20 for that one switch port access VLAN 20 and then we're going to do interface FA 06 and then switch port access VLAN 30 and we go ahead and end that, and we can do a definitely a copy, run, start. Save everything. And you do that, the same thing to switch three, which shows it right here. So we're going to do the same exact thing. So we're going to do our conf T to get into our global configuration. And then we're going to go to interface.
we're gonna do FA zero so eighteen. And then you want to go ahead and do your switch port access VLAN 20 for that FA, FA018. And then we're going to do FA0 slash 6. And then switch port access VLAN 30. You can go ahead and end that. And you can do your copy run start. So now we'll go ahead and try to ping PC1 and PC4. So now if we try to ping we should see this a cross timed out and then when we actually configure our trunking then it'll actually go between each one of the computers. So it'll do the PC one through PC four and it'll go across to each one of their groups. So let's go ahead and we're going to configure the trunking on here. Clean up a little bit of that so we don't have to see it right now. And basically, if you do conf t, oh, I guess we already are in conf t, you see here. So let's get back to the main beginning. So conf t for configure terminal. Then we're going to do interface g. 0 slash 1. This is for switch, basically for switch 2. And then we're going to do switch port mode trunk. And then you're also going to do the same thing for switch 1 for G0 slash 1 and G0 slash 2. And then also switch 3 for G0 slash 2. And that would cover all of your trunking so that way it can go between each one of the the switches here between the networks. But if you do try to still access um, basically pinging PC1 to 6 or PC1 to 5, it will not go to those because they are different networks. But it will it will go across here from PC1 to PC4 because they're in the same subnet here. And that's the conclusion of the assignment.